Welcome to the season opener for the 2024 Tremec Stick Shift Shootout, Tremec All-Female Showdown, and GT500 Street Drag Racing Class. The 2024 NMRA Spring Break Shootout at Gainesville Raceway was February 22nd through the 25th. It was action-packed and featured one of the tightest fields for the Tremec Stick Shift Shootout ever. But we'll start with the Tremec All-Female True Street Showdown, which had nearly 20 entries at this event. That's one of the largest fields ever for this class. The Tremec All-Female True Street Showdown follows the same rules as True Street and features features its own 30 mile street drive followed by three back to back hot laps down the drag strip. The average of these three passes determines the overall winner, runner up, and class winners for 10 second, 11 second, 12 second through 15 seconds. Multi-time winner Gabby Luan ran the quickest with an 8.554 ET, but she had mechanical issues which gave the 9 second and 10 second competitors an opportunity to win. And the competition for that top spot was tight with Dean and Segaro and her 1988 Ford Mustang edging out Kimberly Wood in her 2014 Ford Mustang by less than eight hundredths of a second. Deenan took top honors with a 9.595 second ET average to Kimberly's 9.669 average. The GT500 class, sponsored by Tremec, had seven 2020 to 2021 Ford Mustang Shelby GT500s competing against each other. To enter in this class, the cars must be equipped with the factory Tremec 7-speed dual-clutch transmission, capable of upshifting in as little as 80 milliseconds. Seconds. Qualifying runs ranged from 11.423 seconds at 130 miles an hour to top qualifier Dylan Royer with a 10.018 ET at 143.09 mile per hour. Through three rounds of eliminations, Dylan would end up edging out Russell Hoskins for the overall win with a 10.009 ET at 142.03 miles per hour. For all three Tremec stick shift shootouts in 2024, Tremec has partnered with McLeod Racing to step up the ante. If the winner of each stick shift shootout is running a Tremec transmission, the racer will get an additional $1,000 from Tremec. Racers who also have a McLeod clutch system will get another $1,000 from McLeod Racing. This gives racers the opportunity to take home up to an extra $2,000 for winning each Tremec stick shift shootout. And this year, for the first time ever, there will be an overall Tremec stick shift shootout season champion and receive a championship ring. The turnout for this first event of the year was great with 74 cars entered in True Street, 15 of which were equipped with manual transmissions and eligible to compete in the Tremec Stick Shift Shootout. Racing was rained out on Friday, but cool weather and a great track surface made for quick ETs on Saturday and Sunday. After their 30 mile street cruise on Saturday, all of the True Street competitors made back to back quarter mile passes to establish their average ETs. Using these average ETs, the quickest eight H pattern stick shift cars make up the Tremec stick shift shootout field for this event. The first round of eliminations on Sunday was determined by random chip draw. Kyle Miller and Jeff Smith once again drew each other in round one, just like they did in the 2023 NMRA Spring Break Shootout. Eliminations feature staggered start based on each racer's average ET. This meant that Jeff got the green first against Kyle in the first round of eliminations. Kyle launched hard to catch Jeff, but the alternator in Kyle's Mach 1 died, dropping fuel pressure at half track and giving the win to Jeff. Number one qualifier Danny Adair paired off against Alex Martinez in his yellow 1995 Mustang GT, but fought traction issues, giving the win to Alex. Next at the line were John Miller, and Chris Rausch. Chris had the advantage with his 10.37 average ET compared to John's 9.90 and took the win even though he had a 4 tenths slower reaction time. Carl Goyne ran against Robert Thompson. Carl's Fox body got to leave first and he beat Robert running exactly his three run average of 10.191 seconds. The second round of elimination saw Jeff Smith put Chris Rausch on the trailer and Carl Goyne retired Alex Martinez from the event. That left Jeff and Carl for the final round. Jeff had concerns about an axle shaft issue on his car, but he couldn't let that keep him from giving it everything he and his Cobra had. Despite having to pedal off the line to overcome traction issues and Carl having more than a half second head start, Jeff reeled Carl's Fox body in and he tripped the wind light with a 9.41 ET at 159.31 miles per hour. We're at the NMRA Spring Break Nationals. This is the season opener and the first stick shift shootout of 2024. Here with Jeff Smith. Jeff, you just won the first stick shift shootout of the year. How does that feel? Great, great. Good way to start the year out. And you've had a busy year already. You just competed in sick week last week. Uh, a lot of road miles in that, drag racing, and, and then bringing the car here. Uh, did you have to do any prep bef between the two events? Actually, uh, 
No, not really. I mean, you know, just change the oil and do regular maintenance. But um, no, a thousand mile cruise, eight, uh, five tracks, uh, five days. That was the most, you know, I've driven the car in a couple of years. I normally just trailer it somewhere, take it off, race it, put it back on. So it was good to know that it still got it. And this also seems vaguely familiar. We're here at the spring break opener and you have won yet another stick shift shootout. Do you remember how many times you've won this race? So this will be number four, um, but it, it is kind of wild because I had been seven years since winning in 13 and 16, and then I had a seven year drought and then I won uh, in Orlando in 23, and now we're at a different track for 24, and the same outcome. So I'm, I'm pretty tickled because there was uh, some heavy competition as usual, but it, it seems like every year the competition even gets even stronger. This year is going to be a little bit different. There's a, a championship ring that Trimic has offered up in the stick shift shootout for racers who uh, come to all three events are uh, you going to be able to make all three events this year i mean that's the plan i mean i kind of feel like it would be fitting since i was the first ever uh Tremic stick shift shootout winner in 2013 that a decade later you know that i would be in contingent for the ring but we'll just have to see if you know if things keep going this way so at this particular event there was an extra thousand dollars on the line if you were Tremic equipped and another thousand dollars on the line for the winner if you're McLeod equipped. Now you have both, so you're going home with that money. Yeah, it's pretty sweet, man. I can, I can, I can always use the money. But yeah, no, McLeod and Tremec have been great. They've been a supporter for me for me for a long time. They make great products. I'm living proof. There's, you know, a lot of, I mean, they'll work in your 12 second car or they'll work in an eight second car. So, and they support, you know, the racers. So we need to support them and uh, just very happy. Yeah. Well, congratulations again on today's win and uh, good luck this season. Yep, thank you. All right, thanks, Jeff.